Well, good morning. Day number three. Day number three of nine. <laughs> Looking to ride about 230 miles today, heading north out of Ocean Pond here in the Osceola National Forest of North Central Florida. We'll be heading up to Georgia and camping not far southwest of Statesboro, Georgia. At a private campground, but it has a tenting area, so that's cool. A beaver run. Anyway, I expect to see some more sandy roads today. Hopefully, no mud pits to detour around. So again, we'll uh, give a few updates of the trail along the way. So these roads headed north out of Ocean Pond have been fabulous so far. I mean, you can truck along at 40, 45 miles an hour. There's enough curves that uh, it's not boring, but as you see, there are some uh, significant straight sections. So somewhere up here, I'll reach the Georgia state line. Hopefully I'll remember to uh, capture that. So I figured I was close, I'd come down and double check, make sure that uh, this little bridge indeed is closed. I know Ashley came by here not long ago and checked it out. And Northern Traveler has updated the track from what it used to have. And you can see some people have walked around it, but there's no way to get a bike around this guy. That's for sure. Not with these two big dumpsters on either end. Unless you want to lift your bike over this. <laughs> and then you got to contend with the other side too. So, I think this looks like a permanent change to the Southeast Adventure Trail. So here we are, crossing into Georgia. Woohoo! Welcome to Georgia, it says. We're glad Georgia's on your mind. Excellent. Probably won't record a whole lot of Georgia until I've gone through South Carolina and then come back into North Georgia. But we'll see. There might be something interesting along the way. So this section of the seat is a lot of pavement. I knew some people had mentioned that, but certainly more than I was even thinking. Starts out great when you're down there still in Osceola National Forest. Then you've got some pretty sandy roads to deal with before you get up to Georgia 23. Long stretch of Georgia 23 a few sandy roads not quite as bad uh, some pretty hard packed get over to this road which is Riversdale Riverside Road it's a long stretch of pavement but the miles definitely are clipping by ah finally we're getting into some tree covered roads I missed not having more of roads like this over on the other side of the seat coming down the Georgia Alabama state line there's a lot more roads similar to this very nice over here Lake Grace nice pavilions Lake Lindsay Grace Nice 
to be riding through a little bit more agricultural area. Oh, there's a nice place. Yikes. See more cattle. So just had to stop here for a little photo on the side of this growing cornfield. Like I said earlier, if I wasn't in ministry, I'd want to be a farmer. Razor wire. I'd say we have a prison for the county jail. Wayne State Prison. Geigers. Like a happy place to be stuck. It's a prettier section of the dirt road that is not agriculture or greater forests, but having the growth oh, slide around that sandy corner right up to the side of the road was kind of cool. More and more fields of early uh, crops and it looks to mostly be corn. Well, good morning. This is day number four. Starting the day here from Interstate 16 just east of Metter, Georgia. Spent the night at Beaver Run Campground. It's actually an RV resort, but they've got like three tenting sites. Really nice facility, laundry, game room, great playground, if you want to spend time at the playground. Anyway, had a good breakfast at Grady's Truck Stop and Grill. Just a little bit um, up to the west on uh, the interstate, I think that's the next exit. I just made a little detour over here uh, from what the actual track is. Um, and then a little connection back over to the track just on the north side of the interstate. So I had dinner there last night at uh, Grady's Truck Stop and also just had finished breakfast there and refueled. So we're ready for a 199 mile day up to McCormick, South Carolina, where I will camp at Haw Creek, which is again another Corps of Engineers campsite there, part of the National Park System. back in the dirt. And I know that uh, Northern Travelers release notes mentioned that there would be some more sandy roads on the, at least the early part of this section. So I truly expect them to be sandy. Hopefully just not real deep sand. Uh, this kind of sand is a piece of cake with maybe a little mixed in deeper stuff, but constantly deep, like some of what I went through yesterday morning in the early part of that section, coming north out of Lake City, up into Georgia. I may even suggest eliminating a portion of that after you go around that broken down, or that uh, closed off bridge. Just go straight east over to uh, Georgia 23. Instead of making that loop down to the south and around and back up to the north. Those were some of the ugliest parts. Nothing scenic. Very few trees. Straight, deep sandy roads. And very white. So uh, unless you have tinted goggles or face mask, man, that white sand, even with my tinted goggles, Anyway, enough about yesterday. 
Looking forward to a great day today. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your blessings. Watch over me, I pray. Oh, what a difference a day makes. Yesterday morning in southeast Georgia. Whew. Sandy, white sand. And brown, dirty sand. Now we're into these red clay roads. With a little bit more tree cover. Agriculture to see. So far this morning, I had some beautiful sunshine to begin with. Now it's quite overcast, but still, it shows no real chance of rain. Just nicer riding conditions up here. Yesterday you had to go through it to get to here, I get it. Nice to be past that. Did I tell you I'm drawn to agriculture? Yeah, I guess I did. <laughs> so I mentioned it was overcast. And it's a bit chilly. I'm tempted, well, I've considered stopping and putting my uh, windbreaker on. But I keep thinking it's going to warm up. It's 9.30 after all. experience a little more elevation variations towards the hilliness more up and down Quite a long dirt road section. Often they get broken up by little sections of pavement that either you have to cross or connect from one dirt road over to another. This has been a very long run. Pretty cool. I think it says Old River Road. I can't quite read that. So Northern Traveler's Notes mentions mold, broken down barns and houses. So I think I can stay right here. Yep. So this is another long, fairly wide, easy road, dirt. Um, it's almost like the dirt highway. You can clip along. 45 miles an hour easy. Oh, here comes the stop sign, finally. <laughs> that was a long stretch again. I guess I'm in the south of Augusta, Georgia area. I know I passed over 301 again back there a little ways ago. Pretty unusual sight. Definitely tells you you're getting back closer to uh, some larger civilization area maybe. <laughs> I guess those are some uh, nuclear power plant silos, heating, I mean cooling stacks. There's two right here on, uh, that you can easily see to the left. And over to the right, the trees are blocking right now. There's two others. There they are. Georgia Power, 
V-O-G-T-L-E, Vogtel Nuclear Plant. So, a uh, little roadside mechanic work. My chain guard. I don't know. It was vibrating so much it backed out that one screw. And then this was getting caught on the spokes. Popped it way up here. I heard something bang. So it had chewed up some of the inside of this as the spokes was catching it. So I cut off a piece of it that was sticking out. Zip tied it down. We'll see. If it uh, happens again, I'll just remove the chain guard. Alright, on Georgia 56 on the south side of Augusta a few miles of highway and I'm sure getting it through or around Augusta won't be the most uh, wilderness riding <laughs> maybe a jungle though well I missed where I crossed from Georgia into South Carolina but I'm seeing signs that say South Carolina highways and welcome to Augusta Riverfront South Carolina so we are now in our third state of this trip Florida Georgia now South Carolina no doubt this is a pretty road out the north side of Augusta into South Carolina working a little bit southwest I mean northwest but I'm ready to get off the blacktop between the highway section south of Augusta and now this getting out of here it's been a while so you get off the highway onto this more local paved road I uh, can't quite read the name of it but anyway there was a sign there that says bridge out local traffic only 3.8 miles so I'm coming up here to check it out so it definitely looks like a pretty permanent situation about the uh, road being closed. And it doesn't look like they intend to rebuild it. <laughs> My friend Brad would say, hey, maybe you guys on 250s can get through here. Right, Tim? Oh well, time to find a detour. And so you can see here we are coming back out on the north side of the bridge that is out and we can carry on from there. There it is. Horn Creek. All right, finally done with all that blacktop, at least for now. And definitely the change from just red clay dirt roads to graveled dirt roads. So I guess you could say the last 30 to 40 miles of this day's track on the Southeast Adventure Trail just south of McCormick is the best since leaving the Osceola National Forest early yesterday morning. If you've not ridden many roads like this with the turns and the elevations you'll hear people say stay right and I'm telling you when you have blind turns and overrises, I recommend you heed it and have a sharp eye ahead because too often Jeeps and trucks are not thinking that they're going to come across a motorcyclist and they're using both sides of the road. So always be ready. Those of you that have been riding up in these kind of terrains and roads, you totally get it. You've experienced it. Everyone does at some point. 
What an awesome bridge. Gotta get a picture here. Hopefully nobody comes along. Nice. 